Hello guys and welcome to another Anki Addon Guide episode. As we've discussed before in this series, tagging in Anki is one of its most important and most useful features. However, tagging cards while you're browsing through them in the reviewer can be quite arduous because for every card you have to head into the edit screen and then customize the tags by going into the tags field. As you go through your cards, of course, this can be quite annoying. And for that reason, in this episode, I want to focus on two different add-ons that can make handling tags while in the reviewer much more easy and much more user-friendly. The first add-on I want to present is the tag toggler add-on, the second one, the clickable tags on the reviewer add-on. Let's start with the tag toggler. Now, this add-on comes with two different features, mainly at least. The first feature is a tag edit window that you can invoke in the reviewer by using the T hotkey. With this, this, uh, this window pretty much behaves in the same way as the tag edit screen that you will find in the browser. So you can just add all your tags that you want and it automatically completes them as you'd normally, as it will normally do in the, both in the browser and in the edit screen. So this is a very simple way to just quickly add an additional tag to your cards. One thing I like to use this for, for instance, is to just tag a card that needs editing or a card that I think is too difficult or needs to be um, modified in some specific way. Aside from this uh, user interface, this graphical user interface, the add-on also provides you with the ability to define different hotkeys for different tags. And these can be customized by editing the source code directly. So for this, we will go into tools, add-ons, go on the tag toggler entry and edit the source code. Well, this add-on author, as a lot of others as well, has taken great care in documenting exactly how you have to modify the source code and uh, which settings you need to use and which syntax uh, modifications you need to perform. All of this is explained in great detail, both in the add-on description, but also in the source code. For instance, there is a separate section here that explains how you can define different hotkeys and also a section on how you can set up the different bindings and which actions they perform. That's an additional feature of this add-on. You, can't, you don't, can't only define different bindings for tags, but you can also use these bindings to also perform an additional action. For instance, there are three um, example shortcuts set up right here. And as you can see, the first one just text, just uh, tags our cards with the heart tag, while the other ones, aside from tagging the cards, also include actions like this one right here that buries the node, or this one that suspends the card this is very useful if you are, for instance, if you, you could use this to set up some bindings to mark cards that need some modifications performed to them and then automatically also bury them or change them so that they don't appear again in this spe specific session. So let's go ahead and uncomment these lines. When I say uncomment, I always mean removing this hash sign. In the uh, programming language that Anki and its add-ons use, Python, um, the hash key serves as a way to disable specific lines of the source code. So any line that has a um, hash key or a hash symbol in front of it is not parsed by the uh, by Anki. So by removing these, we activate this shortcut or these shortcuts. And if we now restart Anki, you'll see that we can now. We can then use all of these bindings to set uh, to perform the actions that they were assigned to. So, for instance, if we now use Shift plus H, it should toggle the hard key. And as you can see, it toggles it. So, if I press the Shift plus H key again, it is it's going to be removed. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, customizability to this add-on. Uh, this is one of these things that I use pretty much each day. It's one of the most useful add-ons in my personal Anki use, so I can only, only heartily, uh, heartily uh, recommend this for you to try this out and see how this can help you in your own studying. The next add-on I'd like to cover is the um, clickable, clickable tags on reviewer add-on. Now, this isn't installed yet, so let's go ahead and do that. And you will soon see why I haven't installed it yet. 
because it changes the appearance of the cards by default. So if we now go back into Anki and invoke one of our cards, you'll see that it now features an additional element at the top, which is uh, the tags that this um, card comes in, that comes with. So what this add-on does, it, in, it adds a new element to your cards that includes all of the tags that you've applied to the card. And clicking on either of these tags will actually invoke the browser and show you all of the cards that are tagged with that specific phrase. So this is a very useful way of getting a quick overview of related cards to the one that you're currently looking at. And also a great way to serve, um, to connect different pieces of information together. Now, One thing you might not like about the add-on is that it um, adds this um, tag sequence directly on the question side and that it also adds it here in line with the um, actual question. But this can be customized by simply going into the card template editor and then using this special sequence right here to insert the tags at a different position. For instance, if we would like to remove them um, from the first line right here and move them below the front, we just have to paste that in and separate them by a line break character like this one. Or maybe a few more if you want to just add some more spacing to it. So there you have it. That's how you can customize that. You can also add the tags to the back of, back of your cards. So you can insert this element however many times you'd like and it will then automatically be placed where you place the corresponding uh, symbol. So yeah, that's how you can customize the add-on. All of this is also documented in the um, right here in the description. You can also change um, which cards are tagged. So by default, even if these uh, sequences are not present on your card templates, as we saw before, the add-on will still um, place the tags on your cards. If this is something you would not like to have, what you can do is you can go into the add-on source code again and um, find the this property right here. Uh, one second, uh, boom, there we go, the tag in all cards um, equals true line. Now if we com comment this line and uncomment one the one below it, which says false, then the add-on will not apply the tags by default, but rather only apply them on the cards that um, feature the tag sequence on the card template. So as you see, the tags are now not included anymore but if I go into the card templates editor and paste in this tags sequence again, you'll see that they are now present again. So it's pretty straightforward to customize and uh, once again, a great way to serve or to um, provide some context to your notes and to nurture a big picture understanding because anytime you see th something that you're interested in, anytime you want to find more out more about that uh, specific um, card, you can just click on it and be presented with all of the related cards to that specific note. Alright, so that's as far as this video is concerned. I hope you found some useful tricks in, that could enhance your own use of tags in the reviewer. Until the next video guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to uh, stay tuned to the channel. Um, once again, I think the next video will also be about the reviewer because there are still a lot of things to cover. Um, I wish you good luck with your studies until the next time and I hope to see you soon. Bye.